Well, I'm pretty excited about this one. I just saw something on eBay the other day that I had to have and it's here in this box. This, my friends, is a Craftsman Arc Torch. Notice it has two different leads coming off of it rather than just one that you'd have with a regular weld stinger and that's because it doesn't complete the circuit through your work. One of these leads is hooked to one of these electrodes and the other is hooked to the other one so that you complete your whole circuit here making an arc between those two electrodes. Now, how do you control it? Well, you have this sliding switch here that actually moves one closer to touch it and strike an arc and then moves it away. All right, well, in order to run this thing, I'm gonna drag out my Tombstone Buzz Box. And not only is this the type of machine that it would have been used with originally, but the AC or alternating current is gonna put equal amounts of heat into each of those electrodes so they're well evenly where a DC machine would put more heat into one than the other. Here I'm just hooking my work clamp and my electrode holder up to the two eyelets here. It's a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna arrange these to make sure that they can't touch one another. And then make sure I've got a little bit of a gap here between these electrodes before I turn on the machine. Now I'm a little nervous to try this out. The slider's a little bit stiff on this thing and I've never used one before, but I'm gonna go ahead and strike an arc here and this is pretty strange. You know, it's shooting that arc off the side. It's a little bit of a horseshoe shape. Let me show you a shot of what I'm seeing here. I mean, this is kind of crazy. You don't have really a focused arc or heat, you know, like you would with a TIG torch or an oxyacetylene torch. It's really just this big old patch of heat. Now I'm thinking maybe this could do a little bit better if I sharpened these up a little bit down to a point. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean them up on the belt sander here, take them down to a point, and then try it again, see if that's better. And you know, it seems to be a little bit better with those sharper tips, but they're starting to flake off and chip off there and I'm ending up about with what I had to start with. So I'll roll with it. Now because the carbon arc torch doesn't add any material, you can use it for heating. Let's try to use it to bend a round rod. So I've got a round rod clamped down to my table here and I'm gonna try to heat it up with this torch to make a simple bend. Now as I'm heating this up, this is a little weird, let me show you what I'm seeing here. It's actually melting, just a little patch on the top and it's super strange, you know, the, the shape of the weld pool that we're getting, but it's just melting a little bit there. I'm just gonna hold some heat on there till it gets to be red hot. Then I'll take it off and use my pliers to make that bend. So, you know, that seemed to work okay. Now, I'm not sure how well this is gonna work to weld there not being any shielding or anything like that, but you know, I'm gonna try it with a piece of TIG rod here. And so I'm set up forming a weld pool. My weld pool is super wide here and I'm just trying to add a little bit of filler metal as I move along. Well, after messing around with that, that weld came out pretty good. Oh, wait a second, that's a TIG weld. Okay, it's, it's pretty ugly. Since we're heating such a wide patch, I'm thinking maybe this would be better for brazing. So I'm gonna take some coated brazing rods like you might use with a torch because I don't have any gas shielding here and I'll set up a little lap joint and I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up, try to dab some braze material in there and control it the best I can, but it's a really big area that I'm heating, you know, it's not a very concentrated heat. Well, and after running that in there, it actually looks pretty good. Wait a second, that's a uh, TIG braze. Okay, it's pretty ugly. Yeah, this thing's hard to use. I'm not sure that it has a whole lot of utility for me here. I mean, these pieces are stuck together. Well, I can see why these aren't used very often. They're not commonplace today. At least I haven't seen them around. Maybe in some circles they're uh, commonly used. Let me know if it's something that you've used a lot down in the comments below. Uh, anyway, but it was pretty fun to play around with and try out. And uh, you know, now it's probably just gonna sit on a shelf forever. But uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up below. We'll see you next time.